hello friends today in this tutorial i will be telling you that how to sort or filter the content of a html5 table inside pure javascript so this is the example you can see uh, basically we have a table out there which contains two columns out there name and country and we have four records out there which is uh, these four names are there and countries are there so we can sort this table guys guys we can search the data here uh, by the name itself so let's suppose i search for a particular name here starting from uh, k i only want the record starting from k so as i type here you will now see the records if i type k o you will now see k o n i you can see that only this record is coming here you can see that k o n i g l i you can see that so it is real timing uh, sorting this data here b e r you will see that and uh, i s l a you can see that so it, it is real time searching the data sorting the data based upon whatever you have typed inside the input field here so you can see that you can easily search the records out there for any sort of table here uh, this is we are some just writing some javascript code in the background here to do this process so i have written a complete blog post on this topic guys how to do this process so you can read my blog post and get all the source code step by step instruction is given so the link of this blog post will be given in the description of this video you can go to it so let's start building this application so first of all guys we will declare a simple table out there and inside this table we will have a different kinds of rows out there so we will have a simple table and it have it will be having this id attached to it my table and inside this we will have a table row class header and inside this we will declare some table headings which is the name and country so now there will be two entries out there and we can give some styling to it so style will be the width we can say here it will be 60 percent and for the country we will say that the styling the width will be around 40 percent like this so name and country so after this guys what we need to do is that we need to have another table row tag here and table data and this will be the name here and uh, let me also add the country as well so what you can do is that you can simply copy it multiple times so you can see you can change the name here according so let me just do it here so now you can see that guys basically you can see there are five records out there name and country here you can see that so now we simply need to sort these records so we need to have a simple input field here so right here at the very top we can simply allow the user to search for their favorite record here input type text we can even give it an id here so that we can target in javascript and right here guys uh, we need to attach an event here so there is an event out there which is called as on key up so whenever you press the key on the keyboard and whenever it is up this event will automatically fire and we will write this function which let me call this as a search so this function will be automatically called and let me give it a placeholder enter search name i can say that so now if you see guys so basically this will be the input field out there so whenever you type something here we have attached this on key up event hit, uh, handler here so we need to write this function search so right here we can simply include this uh, script.js so right here inside our javascript file here we can write this function which is uh, search function so let's suppose i write a alert statement here hi this statement i write here so what will happen as i type something here you will see this alert statement will be there so automatically this function will execute whenever you press some key on the keyboard so now we need to do real time sorting here so for doing this we will have inside this we will declare some variables which is input text filter table tr t 
td i and text value so all these will be variables we will declare it later on and input will be the actual input element guys we have given that id which is my input and then we have the filter which is equal to the value that we got input dot value and we need to change this to uppercase so let's suppose you have written any name we will first of all change all the characters to uppercase so after this we will get the table reference we have given the table the id which is called as my table after this we will also get the reference to the table dot get elements we will get all the table rows get elements by class name so sorry you can call this get elements by tag name you can call this method and here basically we can pass all the table row tr like this so this will actually get all the table rows which are present right here this one this one this one this one this one so it will get all these uh, tr elements table row tags and now we simply need to loop through guys we will simply run a for loop here and here we will simply say i is equal to 0 and i will run until tr dot length so basically this will be an array here and we will compute the length of this array by this length property and we will simply i plus plus so this is a simple for loop and inside this for loop guys what we need to do the very first step we will simply calculate the tr well, td data td table data and tri and there is a method out there which is called as get elements by tag name and we will get that elements td zero so you can see that so because we are only performing the search on the name field so that's why we are providing here zero here if you want to perform it on the country you will say here you will replace zero by one so because indexing start from zero so the first column we are targeting so the name column after this we will first of all compare if td has some value inside it we will simply store it inside text value and here we will check here td dot text content or td dot inner text so basically we will compare these two properties if either of these two properties are true then we will store this value inside text value so after this guys we will simply compare a function here text value dot we will first of all com uh, just convert this to all the uppercase so that we are on the same page and then we will simply call this method which is index of and here we will pass the actual filter because you can see that we have initialized the filter we have this is the actual value that we are searching for so we are passing this filter here so if this matches it will return the value greater than minus one so in that case if the value is greater than minus one then we will simply display this row so now we will simply display this row by dot style dot display block we will display this row unless if, if this is greater than minus one or equal to minus one then this we will hide this row so for hiding it we will simply have this syntax here style dot display is equal to none so now if you run this guys basically if you now search for let's support tim you will see real time sorting here you can see that now if i search for devon you will see that if i search for finn you will see that if I search trend here, you will see that. So in this way, guys, you can search real time sorting. You can make filtering your rows and columns based upon a particular value that you have given here. Inside JavaScript, you can do this code in pure JavaScript. Here we are not using third party library. It is all done inside JavaScript. So thank you very much for watching this video. You can get all the source code in the description of this video. And I will be seeing you in the next video. Until then, thank you very much.